welcome back to a Harpoon at Home. We hope you got outside, enjoyed the sunny, beautiful weather today. Um, it's awesome, 60 degrees. I really hope you guys enjoyed some vitamin D. It's good for you. So today we're prepping for Saturday's workout. Um, this workout has two bookend pieces with kind of a, a more diligent movement, a harder movement on the dumbbells and it's sandwiched between a descending ladder. So we're gonna go through the warm up, talk about how we're gonna prep for the workout. We'll go through each of the movements for the workout itself, and then I'll talk about the rep scheme. So this is for time, you're gonna be doing it, but I do want you to cap yourself at 20 minutes. If you don't get through it at 20 minutes, just note 20 and then any extra reps you have remaining. So uh, we're gonna start with 12 reps of a goblet squat, 12 sit-ups, 12 dumbbell swings, we're gonna go 10 of each, eight of each, six of each. So you're gonna grab your dumbbell, you're gonna hold this sucker up here, put your heels of the hand underneath, elbows out in front like we're doing a nice good front squat. Send the hips back and down so that those hip creases are below the knee crease and then we stand. We're trying to keep our chest super upright. If this tends to pull you forward and this dumbbell is too heavy, we can switch it into more of a front squat position or front rack position. This is a little bit easier for some of you. So this is an option if the dumbbell that you have is too much, all right? 12 of those. Then you're gonna sit on down onto an ab mat if you have it, okay? Big part towards the tush, five below. You can check out online, see if they have some of those available for you. Butterfly the feet, we're gonna lean back, super flat back, reach back, touch our shoulder blades behind us, sit on up, touch the toes. Knock out 12 of those guys. Then we're gonna stand up. You can either pick up your kettlebell if you brought one of those home from the gym, or you can grab one of these guys. We're gonna hold it on the edge. Here we're gonna set our spine, put our chest out in front, swing the kettlebell behind us, and then we're going up to eye level. All right, 12 of those, similar setup that we would do if we had the kettlebell itself. Just utilizing our equipment in a different way. Then we're gonna work through 10 of each, eight of each, six of each, okay? Today, this workout has a little bit more shoulder intensity stuff than it looks, and we didn't build in a ton of mobility into the warm up. So, reaching across, a couple seconds on each, okay? Grab a wall, put your hand against the wall, rotate all the way open, or you know I love this one. We put our hands on the ground, tabletop position, drop the shoulder, a couple seconds on each. Same with the wrists. Flex out the wrist. Dumbbell work tends to get a lot of forearm tightness. So feel free to sit back into some of our wrist stretches, flipping over onto the tops of the hands, 20 seconds in each of those, okay? Then once we're done, we're gonna prep each workout movement with the man maker, okay? I want you to practice these for about 15 seconds before you get going a couple times through. Man maker, we put our hands on the dumbbell. We go back, we do a full push-up so our chest hits the deck. Squeeze the elbows back behind you. Go up to a plank. Then we're gonna pull one dumbbell to the shoulder, other dumbbell to the shoulder. We gotta get our feet to the insides of the dumbbells. We're gonna squat clean, thruster. Then we go back down by bringing the dumbbells to our hips first, sending back like a deadlift. Then we can step back into our next rep, okay? What if that's too hard, okay? Good option for you to do, you can either use these dumbbells, skip the push-up entirely, maybe we just jump back to a plank, jump up, jump to a squat clean thruster, okay? Maybe what is actually hard is the push-up. If that's the case, you can take that push-up out entirely. Go to a plank, do the row, do the row, and then we go to that squat clean thruster. Okay, so we got 10 of those. Once we do 10, we're done with them for a little while, okay? We go 10 man makers into 10 dumbbell shoulder to overhead. Dumbbell shoulder to overhead, you're gonna jump the dumbbells up. We're gonna brace through the midline, squeeze the midline tight and press these suckers up overhead, full lockout, trying to pull them back behind our ears. Okay, 10 of those. Bringing them down, touching the ground, nice solid back position as we bring them down. All right, so for those of you that don't have a box at home or don't have um, 
something at home that we normally would do jump ups on, we're gonna use maybe a really steady stair. I say that because I want you to check it a few times before you get in it and you're at high fatigue. This is like an old school desk chair, really solid piece. So I'm gonna stand up on it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate the leg that I lead up with, okay? Step ups today, instead of the box jumps, if you are jumping to a chair, okay? Another option might be stairs. If you have a couple stairs, maybe in your garage, you could take a two step instead of doing one. Last option, if you don't have any of that, is to go to the lunge, okay? Anything single leg where we're supporting ourselves with one leg option. Then we're gonna go back and forth, nine, nine, eight, eight, seven, all the way down to one. So remember, when you get to like this seven mark, right, we're really deep into it. So it's gonna feel heavy and hard at the 10, nine, eight, seven, and then we're like really into the home stretch once we get to six, five, four, three, two, one. After we finish that chunk, then we go 10 more man makers to buy out. So Oreo cookie, vanilla filling, Oreo cookie. All right. Then before we get into the whole workout itself, I do want you to spend a little time getting your heart rate elevated. So you're going to run a clock, spend 15 seconds on the man maker, 15 seconds on the dumbbell shouldered overhead, 15 seconds on the box jumps, cycle through that two to three times, kind of depending on how warm you are from the rest of your day. All right. Um, if you need any help substituting anything else, just give us a shout. Man makers can be really hard. So um, if that is totally not an option, just go to burpees. They're really similar, right? We're dropping ourselves to the floor. We're jumping up overhead. All are great options. All right, let us know if we can help in any way. Hope everyone's doing well. Talk to you soon.